Well, we made it into 2013 and it's time to look at cattle markets with our good friend Daryl Peel. Daryl, let's look at how 2012 compares with 2013. You know, if you look at total beef production in 2013, we're projecting a, a significant decrease this year, about 4.8% at this point. Uh, that compares to 2012, where we had, uh, uh, we wound up with about a 1.1% decrease. In 2012, we had a significant decrease, about a 4.5% drop in slaughter, but that was offset by higher carcass weights in 2012. In 2013, we're going to see about a 5% decrease in slaughter, but really no change or very little increase in carcass weight. So the, the slaughter drop translates pretty directly into the decrease in beef production. Okay, so what could change that going into 2013? Well, obviously we still have drought conditions going forward. Drought has modified the timing of beef production the last two years, and it could do it again. Uh, we, could, we could moderate that a little bit. If, if we go another three months or so and still have drought conditions, we'll see additional liquidation that we're not planning on, not intending to do. That would, uh, you know, that would uh, modify the decrease somewhat on beef production. It'll still be down, but it might not be down as much temporarily. But of course, it implies that later on it would be even more severe. When so, it would change the timing either into the later part of the year or into next year. Okay, so let's let's talk about a, a, a producer's perspective on this. Well, again, we're you know this is largely driven by decrease in slaughter, right. and so we have less cattle. We're going to see less steer and heifer slaughter. We're going to see less cow slaughter as well. And again, the the cow slaughter really becomes one of the big factors in terms of whether we have you know uh, a, a sharp decrease because we're trying to stop liquidating the herd, or whether we have less of a decrease because we are continuing to liquidate because of the drought. Okay, and and on, on a side note on that, when when do you think we will see? the numbers leveling off as far as liquidating the herd? With no drought in 2013, we kind of stabilize the numbers and then we probably really don't begin to be, build at least until 2014. Wow, okay. So, well, let, let's take another look at that, the consumer side of, of the production there. Well, you know, production goes down, that implies less consumption, but you have to modify that a little bit because of the trade. We both import and export beef, so they don't translate necessarily directly. The 4.8% projected decrease in, in beef production in 2013 will translate, we think, into about a 3.5% decrease in beef consumption on a per capita basis in 2013. So it will be down. That's a pretty sharp decrease, about like it was in 2011. So it does imply much more pressure on wholesale and retail prices, but not quite as much as the production decrease. The bigger decrease in both production and consumption may happen actually in 2014. Wow, so there's, it's, it's still out there. It's going to take some time because of the situation we're in. We're looking at, uh, yeah, at least through 2014 with very restricted production, and that'll impact consumption as well. Okay, there you go. Daryl Peel, Livestock Marketing Specialist here at Oklahoma State University.